Okay, welcome to Lab 5. We're going to configure print services. We're going to configure print and document services, including installing a printer, deploying printers using Active Directory, scheduling print access, and creating a print to pool as part of the lab challenge. Let's get started. I am logged into server base B. Server A is our domain controller and it is also logged in. So we're going to go into manage. Okay, manage, add roles and features. We're going to click on next, next, next. And we want to go down to print and document services, add features, and then click next, next, next. We'll let that default as print server next and install okay so the um, installation was successful I'm going to go ahead and click on close <clears throat> okay now we're going to go ahead and click on print services mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see the print services has been added. So now we're going to go into tools and print management. The print co management console is going to open and we're going to expand the print servers node. And here we have server B. Expand that node. And we're going to right click and add a printer. We want to add a new printer using an existing port. And we're going to let it default to LPT1. We're going to leave the install new driver option selected. leave that selected click on next and then we're just going to choose generic in the printers list we're going to click on MS publisher caller and then click next Okay, in the printer name box, we're going to type in MS color, leave the share printer checkbox selected, and in the share name text box, we're going to type in MS color. And then we're going to click next. next and finish. Now we're going to repeat this process to install a second printer. So right click, add printer, LPT2, next, next, generic, and this is going to be a MS Publisher image setter. And next. And we're going to name it MS Mono. M. Oops. MS Mono. Next. Next. Finish. So now we've completed exercise 5.1.
While we on while we are on server B, we're now going to deploy our printers using Active Directory. Okay, so now when we click on printers, it brings up a print that pulls up a list of all the printers installed. And we want to right click MS Color. So left click to select, right click, and we want to click on list and directory. We're then going to MS go to MS Mono. <coughs> right click and then deploy with group policy. We're going to click on browse for group policy. And select the default domain policy. And then OK. We want to select the checkbox for the computers that the GPO applies to per machine. And then we're going to click on OK. And then we're going to go to server A. So I'm going to close out of this and go into server A. Okay, we are in server A. We're going to go into PowerShell. <coughs> and at the PowerShell prompt, oops. We are going to type in control forward slash name Microsoft dot devices and printers. Okay, and it pulled up our devices. We're going to go to Server Manager. on tools, active directory, users and computers. And then we're going to right click via datum.com. So left click, right click, and we're going to find And in the Find Users and Contacts and Groups dialog box, we want to select printers. And we're going to click on Find Now. And there is the MS color. And now we want to right click and connect. And that takes us to exercise 5.3. So that's going to take us back to server B.
Okay, now exercise 5.3, we're going to add another printer. So in the print management, so how did I get to here? In the server manager dashboard, go back into tools, print manager, and here we are in printers, right click, add printer, we want to leave it as LPT1, next, next. And this is going to be an MS Publisher color printer. Generic. Next. And the name is going to be MS color PM. MS color PM. And next, next, finish. Now we're going to select it, right click, and we're going to select properties. Then we want to click on the advanced tab. The available option. We only want it available from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then we'll go ahead and click Apply and then go to Security. Now we want to go ahead and do Add. And we're going to type in domain users. And then OK. And that was wrong. We removed that. So we want to add domain admins. this again. Right click, properties, there we are. Domain admins, and then OK. And we want to grant the, or allow the permission to print to it. And remove the everyone special identity. And then we're going to click on OK. And that is the end of ex uh, exercise. Now that takes us to the lab challenge creating a printer pool. We have to add a printer onto the server and share it using the name HPJ4250 pool, then configure the printer to function as a printer pool using the IP address above. So let's go ahead and work on that. So I went ahead and I've added the steps to do the lab challenge, but for sake of time, I'm not going to go through it via video, but these are going to be the steps that if you follow, you'll be able to complete the challenge. And that is going to be the end of this video.